The discrimination between polytechnic and university graduates has lingered for several decades. This issue has prompted the administration of Governor Babajide Sonwolu to change the Lagos State Polytechnic to University of Science and Technology. Also, the Adeniro Gusoya College of Education, Michael Lotedola College of Primary Education, is now Lagos State University of Education. History already has been made. Governor Sonwolu signed the bills for the establishment of the additional two universities in the state at Lagos House Marina. Witnessed by the special advisor to the governor on education, Tokumbo Wahab, and the commissioner for justice, Moya Sore Onigbanjo. Chairman, Governor Council of the Lagos State Polytechnic, now to be known as Lagos State University. <laughs> the elsewhere rector. Polytechnic, um, the elsewhere chairman of the College of Education, Ichaniki, now to be known as Lagos State College, Lagos State University of Education. In making this a reality, the governor meets with the National Universities Commission at the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and secured two licenses for the establishment of the Lagos State University of Education and the Lagos State University of Science and Technology. This is coming 39 years after the first university license was granted during the administration of late Latif Jakondi for the Lagos State University, LASU. We believe with the approval that we have sought in front of you to have our elsewhere Lagos State Polytechnic as the University of Science and Tech will bring about innovative engineering, science invention, and things that is critical and is clear to the development of our country and our state. We are in AUC working with the universities to deliberately promote more female administrators, universities, and role models to our young girls, boys across the country. So we uh, believe that your requests are in order. Away from Marina, at a press briefing in Alausa, the Special Advisor on Education explains the process of admission into the new universities. For instance, you are, you, you are in uh, Madino Oxford College of Education year, year 2 or Year 1. What the new law provides for is that the school cannot admit new students for NCE programs. But the students that are already in the school, they have to graduate for the courses they applied for. So the structure will be there, but will be phased out in the next two, three years to allow the last students to graduate. For the year 2022, 12.6% has been allocated for the education sector and the state government has promised to address more infrastructure deficits in schools across the state. All right, joining us uh, on the program is the Special Advisor to Governor Songwolu on Education, Mr. Tokumbo Wahab. Mr. Wahab, you're welcome to News Across Nigeria. Thank you, Ayo. All right, so uh, polytechnics and colleges of education, we, we all know, you know, uh, get that tag because of their area of specialty. Uh, tell us, what informed the decision by the Lagos State Government to actually, you know, get these two um, schools you know, to become universities now? Um, that's uh, the science, uh, Lagos State University of Science and Technology, and of course the Lagos State University of Education. Okay, thank you, Ayo. Um, data and on its basis. You have a governor that said it himself. The last time we had this done was when Lagos population was about 6.7 million people, 1983, by Alaji Latif Jack on day of blessed memory. Instructive today is one year of his remembrance. Now we have a university of, um, in Lagos State, a conventional university with a limited carrying capacity. In 2016, the data showed that 180,000 applied to LASU. LASU could only admit 10% of that because of a limited carrying capacity. Now, the admission process is on now for 2021-2022 session. I'll give you four examples. In the faculty of law, they can't admit more than 180, and they have over 1,000 applicants. In the faculty of medicine, they can't admit more than 100. Out of the 100, 10 
of that slot goes to direct entry applicants. So 90 for the regular UTME applicants. In debt history, they can't admit more than 10, and they have over 1,000 applicants. In nursing, they can't admit more than 30, over 1,000 applicants. Now, these are the facts and the figures. On the other hand, we have two colleges of education that have issues with student enrollment through the years. And our investment by way of subvention from the governor in a year is 5.5 billion. The population of the student enrollment in both colleges is less than 4,500. 4, that means we're using 550,000 to train one NCE student in a year. On the second leg of it, you have polytechnic graduates that are discriminated against by the system. For instance, in the civil service of Lagos State, you come with your HND. Your growth is stunted at level 14, like it or not. Now, you have your contemporaries that came with a BSc or any other degree from the university. They have the opportunity of rising to be level 17 directors, and maybe, probably, they get to be palm sex. So if you want to go above level 17, you have to go and do a conversion program. In a place like last, it takes you two years, and you spend six semesters. That has been unfair to them. So we looked at the data, we looked at the numbers, we looked at the carrying capacity of the existing university that we have, that's LASU, which is the second best in the country and the foremost state institution in the country, thanks to Mr. Governor. We said, let us be audacious to do the right thing. And in doing the right thing, we thank the House of Assembly, led by the Right Honorable Speaker, Ajayi Obasa, for seeing that vision that what the executive arm is doing, led by the Governor, Babaji Songolu, um, end of it is to attend to the needs of Lagosians. So every year when people ad apply to LASU and 10% gets admitted, what happens to the 90%? Mm. They go back home to try again next year. All right, so now let's look at, uh, of course, now that the uh, universities have, have gotten the final approval from uh, the NUC, is it really good news you know, for the students who are there now? Um, because, you know, will they automatically get uh, university degrees at the end of it all? Because no, we saw, no, all right. No. What happens is this. We and have of a course, the, we have the a issue of funding. Yeah, no, I'll talk, I'll talk about funding. We have a transition clause. If you apply for a program under the NC um, regime, we have to see you to the end of your program. However, you are advantaged in a way that you can now come and apply by way of direct entry the next two, three years to come and join the University of Education. And you start from year two. For those that are in the project, the same thing will apply. So we are starting afresh. And I can tell you for a fact that we have given the deadline till Monday to submit to JAMB. The Monday programs, next week. Monday next week, 14th of February. The programs we are starting these two new universities with. NC has written, NC has, um, NUC has written to JAMB, and we are fully on course. For the students who graduate them, we now bring in fresh students to run the university system for us. All right, we'll definitely leave it at that. Mr. Tokumbo will have the special advisor to Governor Baba Jason on education. We thank you for your thoughts. Thank you very program. much, Ayo, for having me, and thanks to Lagosians.